Hi, I'm Bob Anderson, and in 1988 I was a champion of the world of darts. And today I'd like to give you a few tips and pointers as to how to improve your game of darts. Now one of the fun games you can play on a dartboard is cricket. And the old game of cricket, certainly in the United Kingdom, was played with 10 wickets and the idea was to score as many as you could on the dartboard for each wicket. In order to score you had to count more than 40 with your three darts. So if you happen to hit two 20s and then another one, 60 score would count 20 runs. If you hit a treble 20 and another treble 20 and another treble 20, 180, knock off 40, you'd score 140. So you'd move immediately to 160. Your opponent throwing alternately with you would be throwing for the bull and 25. If he hit a bullseye, counts two wickets. If he hit a 25, it will count one wicket. Once he got 10, you were out and you reverse the rolls. A very, very good game. The Americans play a totally different game of cricket to the one I've just described. Their game is very much like an English game we called Mickey Mouse. I'll explain how it's played. Using the center of the scoreboard here, 20s to 90s and bull. The idea of the game is to hit three 20s one, two, three. Once you've done that, you're open to score on the 20 bed. So if your next throw you hit three 20s, you'd score 60. Your opponent in the meantime can try and close that bed by scoring three 20s, knocking it out, or as the Americans would play it, immediately opening 19s by hitting a treble 19, then a treble 18, the idea is to get right the way through before your opponent does and have a higher total than he does at the end. It's a very simple game, probably more complicated to tell you than to show you. So to summarize, the object of the game is to score three of each number and then you're open to add to that total on that number. If your opponent also gets three, it finishes that number and nobody can do anything with it. And to, to win the game you need to open all of these numbers before your opponent does, score more than he does. And when you hit the last target available, he can't beat you. Sounds easy, but it isn't. But it's a lot of fun. And on this game, I would hope that was me. It's a very, very good practice game because you must hit what you're looking at, otherwise you're punished immediately. And it's a, a very good practice aid, because when you take this game back to the 501, you can sharpen up on those trebles by playing cricket. And that's how to play two sorts of darts cricket.